and I looked through the buildings on the campus for the uh, University of Northumbria at Newcastle, which is not the same as the University of Newcastle, and they're on the opposite sides of the, the, the civic centre, the greenery bit in, in between, and uh, it's a little bit more like a polytechnic in terms of the architecture. I also saw, whilst I was there, um, the uh, the City Hall, uh, and they have a Turkish baths there as well, bizarre. Uh, it was one of those things in Victorian sort of society that they liked to do. Uh, then I made my way back to the um, the uh, main street, which is called Northumberland Street, and I walked all the way down until I got to the square, which is which is actually Eldon Square, and the big shopping centre is around it. It's on the north side, the west side and the south side, and on the east side is Monument. So the square um, is a little area, little park, and they were showing on a big, big screen uh, yesterday's um, opening ceremony of the uh, Olympics in Rio, because obviously um, we were all asleep when they were doing that, so um, time-wise, you know, they're ahead of us. Sorry, they're behind us a long time, so we're already asleep by the time they're busy. Um, <laughs> they're behind us, so uh, I watched some of that. And then I walked out um, to Monument, and you can go up it, but I didn't, because I don't like heights, and that was really high. It's like a huge tower with um, a... Uh, um, a big statue on top and a, and a lookout platform below and the monument is to a guy who pushed some sort of civil reform um, through Parliament I assume he came from around here um, which you know led to a, a century of peace um, they erected it between the Great Wars so I don't know what they were thinking but there we are <laughs> um, you know, they just had a huge war, they were about to have another one, and they were in the middle of the Great Depression, and here they were building that sort of thing, so, you know, there we are. Then, what did I do after that? I uh, saw the Theatre Royal from afar, I also saw the Lane Art Gallery from afar, in a very fancy building, took pictures but didn't go in. It was free, but art's not really my sort of thing. Um, and then I headed towards, uh, now where is it, that's the one, St John the Baptist Church, and then from there, I can't remember if that one was open or not, I think it was, but I don't think there was much in it, um, I think that was the one that had sort of Bible passages written on the doors uh, itself as you go in, anyway, uh, then I went down and I was heading now towards the water, so I've come down the west, uh, sorry, the east side of the city, and I'm now sort of at the same, you know, just just covering the south bit, and um, that is where you get St Nicholas Cathedral, uh, which is it is a glorified parish church uh, because um, it was not built as a cathedral. However, for a parish church, it is. Huge. In fact, I think before it was a cathedral, it, it held the status of the largest parish church in the entire country. It is massive for a parish church. Um, now it's a cathedral, and as I said before, the big thing about it was that it had a, a, a lantern in the tower. Um, they, they weren't open for the tower, but uh, they did. They were open, and they did allow photography. So I took a few photos as well. Um, uh, now, I got there just before 12, and they were going to have a wedding at half 12, um, which was lovely. It meant that I got to hear the organ uh, as I was sort of walking round, and um, I got to see the bride come in. Obviously, by that time, I'd, I'd gone out to, to the west door to see her coming in. They kept the cathedral open, but 
it's just not done, is it, to sort of walk around and sightsee while somebody's having a a, um, a, uh, a wedding, particularly when the wedding they were hosting it in the nave and not in the choir. The choir's beautiful, um, really is, uh, and then their ambulatory goes all the way around uh, and it's full of of little chapels. Um, they even have a crypt chapel, uh, which is basically. Ooh, just sort of underneath their north transept, which is mostly filled with the organ. Um, so lovely. Their, their doors are all at the west end. Uh, there's the west end, and then there's two doors, north and south, both at that end. I don't think they have um, doors in the transepts, if I remember rightly. They did say something about having a sort of a cloister that hosted a um, a uh, cafe, but it was closed. So <clears throat> then I went south still to Newcastle Castle. Um, now there's two distinct parts to this. Um, Newcastle uh, itself was built on Castle Garth. Uh, it had a, a fortified wall. Uh, with a barbican, um, which is a big gatehouse quite a way away from the castle itself, uh, and a keep, um, and a load of other things like chapels and stuff. The only thing left of it is the barbican um, as a sort of self-standing gate, it's called the Black Gate, um, and the castle keep. The You buy your tickets at the, uh, the barbican, even though they're two separate buildings and if you were coming from the south you might accidentally get to the castle first and then you'd have to be sent to the black gate to get tickets to come back um, there is a little uh, museum in the black gate not terribly good um, but rather quaint um, the castle's fantastic the castle is amazing um, it's so well preserved um, and yet still rather archaic. Lots of little stairways and, um, you know, you can go up to the top and there's a, um, a walkway around the, uh, the, um, the great hall at a height of, gosh, I don't know, maybe 10 feet above. Uh, it's, I really enjoyed it and it was well worth the money, well worth the money. Um, spent quite a while there <laughs> walking around. Um, after that, uh, I decided that I was going to walk the quayside, and I walked all the way uh, from there, a place called Sandhill, all the way past the Guild Hall, and all the way down uh, past the marina, uh, and on past the uh, Millennium Bridge. I passed the Time Bridge, the Swing Bridge, and the High Level Bridge by then. Uh, and then I found the River Cruises, and I uh, got there at about, gosh, what was it, 1.40, and they told me they were going to do an hour trip um, at uh, 2.45, so I booked that. Then I decided that I wanted to go for lunch before then, so I went across the uh, Millennium uh, bridge. Now the Millennium Bridge is bizarre. It's a tilting bridge. You, Every so often they close the bridge and then they tilt it. Um, it sort of comes up. Now bear in mind it is quite high off the water anyway so it's not a drawbridge. Ships can go under it and it makes very little difference uh, to any ships passing whether it's tilted or not. But it does do this novel tilting. Um, once I'd got across, uh, it was five past two, and they tilted it. So I watched that. Um, a huge winch lifting this bridge, tilting it to some stupid angle, and then returning it. it, it completely pointless. Novel, but completely pointless. And one, one wonders how much they spent on that. Um, <laughs> Then I decided to have lunch in the Baltic Centre for Contemporary Arts, which is in a big, big storage um, warehouse 
conversion uh, and I went into, didn't actually go in because art's not really my thing, um, but I went into the uh, the place where you have the food uh, and I had a lovely lunch there, lovely lunch. It's just too hot to continue dressed, so I'll have to make do with groin cam, I'm so sorry. Anyway, I got up to lunch time, um, which was actually, gosh, about 2 o'clock. <laughs> uh, by 2.45 I'd finished my lunch, the bridge had finished its tilt, so I could cross back over, because the other side, the south side of the river, is actually Gateshead. Um, which is an entirely different sort of township. Um, I'd seen on the hill various port, various various things in Gateshead, like um, St Mary's, which is a church, an old church, very old church, but now a heritage centre. Um, what's known as uh, Sage, which is monstrosity. Um, it's two auditoriums in a sort of huge like um, glass panelled building that looks a little bit like a, a misshapen London Assembly building. Um, <laughs> this is the only way. And those are perched on the cliff. Um, anyway, back on the north side I got onto a river cruise. It was an hour cruise. Um, there were good bits and there were bad bits. The bad bit was that when they were going through the centre of um, the city under the seven bridges, um, they went so slowly that I couldn't film going under the bridges because, you know, <laughs> it would take about half the bloody journey because they were going so slow. Um, we went under all seven bridges heading inland. Uh, after we got to the seventh, um, we saw the remains of um, a coal station where they used to load it onto um, ships. Uh, and then we turned round, went all the way back, and then we went towards the sea, um, but only sort of as far as Ousburn. Um, and the sort of little basin bit round there. Um, so it was nice. Um, there was a, a, a sort of pre-recorded sort of preamble that was going on for most of the time. Um, you couldn't hear half of it and the other half was terribly uh, bombarding you with facts. Um, so I learnt a lot but I can't remember for the life of me what I learned. Things like, for example, there's this structure somewhere um, on the Ewsburn that looks a bit oriental because it was some sort of shipbuilders and they were looking for clients in the Orient in Japan. So they built this thing, <laughs> monstrosity, on the hill for them to stay in. And it kind of looked a bit pagoda-like. Um, <laughs> Facts like that. Anyway, once we were back, I got a bus. Now, the there are two major bus routes in the centre of um, uh, Newcastle. One goes sort of from the um, station and it goes out across the north side of the um, river. Uh, to Ousburn and then on and then circular so it comes back. The other one uh, goes over the uh, bridge and sort of around Gateshead and then back. Um, I got the one to Ousburn because I had been recommended, somebody recommended it to me, they said it was a beautiful picturesque place. Anyway, got off. Uh, there's several parks around there. One of them is a very big um, it's sort of where the Ousburn almost sort of starts, I think. Uh, and it's got a train viaduct. I never got that far. Um, I won't say it's a regret 